there is a view among a cross-section of Ghanaians that the punishment regime is not strict enough. What do you think? The punishment regime, and I'm guessing, my Lord, for those political vigilantes... That is so. Yes, there's that view. I've heard that view as well. That this continues because there are no consequences. And so you commit a crime, and then you put on a political robe, and then you get away with it. So yes, I've heard that view. And, and that view has been expressed by our listeners. What they wish to see is that regardless of a person's political affiliation, the law indeed should be blind and punish regardless. But they also acknowledge, and this is again going back to the various shows I've hosted on this topic, that it, you can suggest that and be an ostrich because the people who are supposed to enforce that law fundamentally the police, seem to have been politicized. So they are taking instructions from a politician who is a minister, who the IGP has to answer to. The IGP is a political figure. It belongs to a political party. If a member of his group is the one accused of such a crime, there will be hesitation. And so they acknowledge that that is a problem that needs to be fixed first before you can expect the police to be fearless, firm, and fair in dealing with these criminals. My Lord. We had one Mr. Mutala Mohammed before the commission yesterday. And his opinion is that to say we should ban political parties, uh, sorry, uh, vigilante groups, is to say we should ban MPP and NDC. Do you agree with him? No, my lord, I do not. 